Simple science. What happens to water when you heat it up and cool it down? If you heat liquid water up to 100 degrees Celsius, it begins to boil as the water turns into steam. Evaporation is the change that occurs when material turns from a liquid into a gas. Liquid water evaporates at lower temperatures than 100 degrees Celsius, only more slowly and without boiling. That is why a puddle of water shrinks and disappears on a sunny day. Actually, the water hasn't really disappeared; it has evaporated, turning into water vapor in the air. You can experiment to find out how quickly water evaporates under different conditions. The warmer it is, the faster water evaporates, and water will evaporate faster on a windy day. Than a still day. Also, the bigger the opening on a container of water, the faster the water inside will evaporate. We can't see water vapor, but we know it's there from the way it condenses when it hits a cold surface. That is why water droplets form on a mirror in a steamy bathroom. The glass surface of the mirror is cooler than the surrounding warm air. So the water vapor in the air condenses on it. Condensing is the change of state that occurs when a gas turns into a liquid, and is the reverse of evaporation. When you heat liquid water up, it evaporates, becoming water vapor. And when you cool the water vapor down, it condenses into liquid water again. Evaporation and condensing. Are reversible changes of state. If liquid water is cooled down to zero degrees Celsius or below, it freezes into solid ice. Freezing is yet another change of state, when material turns from a liquid into a solid. This change can be reversed by raising the temperature above zero, so that the ice melts back into liquid water.